Good evening. Thank you for tuning in. I am Danny Nguyen, host of Business Forum. You are watching us live on Van TV, Vietnamese American Network, on channel 55.6. For those of you who are watching us for the first time, the objective of our show is to uh, bring relevant, helpful information, uh, the know-how knowledge, and even inspiration to small business owners, uh, real estate developers, and investors. And with the desire to, um, to, to help our community prosper by the growth of business. Quý vị đang theo dõi chương trình diễn đàn kinh doanh. Tôi là Danny Nguyễn, uh, Nguyễn Quốc Đoàn. Um, chương trình, mục đích của chương trình diễn đàn kinh doanh là mong muốn đem đến những tin thức, uh, thông tin liên quan uh, và những cơ hội uh, liên quan tới uh, lĩnh vực uh, tiểu thương. Và kính thưa quý vị, uh, trong ngày hôm nay chúng tôi đã có hạnh được uh, mời một vị khách, đó là bà thị trưởng của thành phố uh, Richmond. Uh, kính thưa quý vị, uh, lý do mà cũng đang mời bà thị trưởng đến đây là quý vị cũng biết là cái tầm ảnh hưởng của chính quyền địa phương thành phố đến với những cái cộng đồng uh, tiểu thương. Uh, vì thế chúng tôi mời bà đến uh, đây nói chuyện với chúng ta. Hy vọng sau uh, phần nói chuyện hôm nay quý vị sẽ biết thêm một uh, về bà thị trưởng này. Good evening, Mayor. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. That's good. Yeah, That's thank good. you so much for coming. Well, it's my pleasure. Yes, I know you're extremely busy, but uh, you are willing to take the time to be with us. Uh, that means a lot to me and our audience. Well, it is my pleasure to be here. Thank you for asking me. Yes. As I share with you, Mayor, uh, the, the objective of this show is to bring relevant and helpful information to businesses. Yes. And as you know, you've been mayor for, uh, for a while, and you know the important role and an important impact that small business ha uh, have on the, on the community. Yeah. And, 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 and a city. But before going to, to that, I would like to, uh, to, to tell the audience a little bit about yourself, if you uh, don't mind. Okay, well, um, I grew up here in Fulcher, Texas, as a matter of fact. Um, my grandfather was a county judge, and I was married to Hilmer Moore, who was the longest serving mayor in the United States, they alleged, but uh, if they find somebody who yes. served longer than yes. 63 years, and so uh, when he passed away, they asked me to serve his unfulfilled term, and uh, I've been serving ever since. He passed away in 2012. Um, my, as I said, my grandfather was a county judge. My, both my parents, my mother and father, were uh, very prominent local people. Uh, they have given a lot uh, to the community, and so I'm thrilled to be able to give back myself as mayor. Wow, wow. So you have a deep roots in Fort Bend. Yeah. Your maternal uh, grandfather yeah. was a county judge. Yes. And your yes. parents were active community civic leaders yes. at state and national levels. Yes. And yes. your former husband, I mean, your yes. husband was a, a, a mayor. mayor. And then now you're serving as a mayor. It sounds like it runs yeah. in a family, it mayor. Runs, it runs in the family. I guess it does. I never thought I would be mayor, but it must run in the family. Yes, yeah, so you do have a passion to <laughs> I serve. Do. I, I do. mean, uh, public serving yeah. is a sacred call. Yeah, I, I could, I could well, see that. Well, I, I uh, have really enjoyed the time that I served. While we were married for about 30 years, I was by his side all that time. And yes. so I got to meet a lot of people yes. and see how he did things, and then I just carried on. Yeah, sometimes I joke, jokingly say that you bought one and you got one free. Now yeah, they, they yeah, have you, yeah. uh, which, which is great. <laughs> so you've been elected since uh, 2012. Right. And how do you like it so far uh, as well, mayor? I, I, I find it very fulfilling. Uh, the people trusted my husband and they trust me. They trusted me twice to elect me. And I'm very appreciative of that. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, how can we bring local government and the small business community together? Well, I think that we are very lucky in Fort Bend County, which is where Richmond is, that we have a number of partnerships. Uh, you don't see this 
very often, and you don't see it anywhere that I can think of, where you have the county and the cities and private businesses and the colleges all working together for the common good. Right. And so we just need to manage that. There's going to be a lot of growth in Fort Bend County, right. and we need to watch over that and make sure it is good growth that benefits all the people. Right, right. Um, you seem to be very interactive with, uh, with people, especially small business community. Mm -hmm. And I've seen you around, man. I know mm -hmm. you for mm -hmm. several years. Mm -hmm. and, and what is your impression of small business? Uh, and what, what kind of impact do you think a small business owner have on, uh, on a community or uh, on a city? Well, small business is just critical for a community. Uh, it's the life yes. and the blood and, uh, of a small community. Uh, you bring services to the community that they wouldn't otherwise have. Yes. You bring enjoyment, you bring uh, restaurants, you bring all kinds of things and we couldn't do without small businesses in Richmond and in all of Fort Bend County. Small businesses are what drive a yes, community. Yes, yes, yes. I think small businesses play a very important role in, right. uh, uh, in our right. economy. I right. mean, as I understand correctly, um, I've learned that somewhere 80 percent of the economy of the U.S. is dependent upon small businesses. Just like you said, they, okay. pro they, they bring services, products, ideas, right. and solutions to the right. city. Right. Uh, I did not know it was 80 percent. I knew it was a high number, but that, that's news to me. But it is a great uh, uh, boom to Richmond and Fort Bend County. And, to everybody. Yes, yes, yes. And and in terms of the benefits for the uh, for, for your city, mm -hmm. a small business also pay property taxes and yes. sell taxes. Yes. And I had the privilege to serve at the city council in Missouri right. City, right. and I know that the property tax play an important role. Well, it plays a big important role because a city income, or, or uh, you think of it as income, their revenue, yes, their yes. city revenue comes from ad valorem taxes, which are property taxes, and then they come from sales taxes, yes. which are the small businesses. Yes, yes. And uh, in Richmond, uh, a greater percentage of our income comes from the small businesses. And so we are really uh, dependent on them. Yes, yes. See, uh, sometimes I drive by a piece of land. Mm -hmm. That I've seen it several years ago, yeah. and as a matter of fact, I had a privilege to be a part of that. Okay. You know, the, the fact that we bring different players together, right, and right. and a building come up, yeah, and product and services mm -hmm. was provided to the local people, and right. tax revenue is being paid. Mm -hmm. So I think um, commercial estates are, are very important. Uh, yes. uh, for city as well. We have a number of large areas of land out in Richmond yes. that uh, are going to be developed yes, in the yeah. near future. And so we're excited about that. We have uh, uh, allowed that they, we will get ad valorem taxes off of the homes and the sales tax off of uh, businesses that will go in out there. Right. What is your property tax rate now? Our property tax rate is 0.71 cents, 71 cents per hundred dollars. Got you, got you, got mm -hmm. you. We are a little bit higher than some cities. Yes. Uh, but that's because we're the county seat and 40% of our property is yeah. tax exempt. Yeah. One thing I know for sure is that um, you are right ahead of the wave of growth. Yeah. I, we know that. We yeah. all know in the business yeah. community, we know that, you know, yeah. as population growth, I mean, yeah. they will be heading um, to Richmond. So, yeah. so, so what is your vision, man? What do you see the growth uh, of, of, of your city? Well, we have, uh, I see a lot of growth. We have a development that is going on now yes. out there on Williams Way called Veranda. Yes. And that's a housing development that will have housing for all different incomes, for families, for older people, and that's a real good uh, thing for our area. We have another area that's a large piece of land at the corner of 69 and Farm Road 762. Yes, yeah. You have a lot of land. A lot of we've land. got a lot of land, and that's because the old families had a lot of land out there. Yes. And 
as they gradually died off and left the land in trust, yes. the trustees are now going to put the land up for sale. So we're excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, allow me to, uh, to, uh, to translate in Vietnamese if you will. Okay. Um, kính thưa quý vị, quý vị đang theo dõi chương trình diễn đàn kinh doanh uh, và hôm nay um, vị khách của chúng ta đó là bà thị trưởng của uh, thành phố Richmond, đó là bà thị trưởng uh, Evelyn Moore. Uh, bà thị trưởng um, đã chia sẻ với chúng ta uh, một chút xíu về cái tiểu sử của bà, uh, lý do tại sao mà uh, bà ra ứng cử thị trưởng và uh, và và những cái ưu điểm của thành phố của bà. Nhưng mà ngày hôm nay uh, chúng tôi có một cái cái cái, cái phương thức khá chút xíu là thay vì uh, dịch lại hay là chuyển uh, uh, chuyển ngữ thì chúng tôi sẽ có cái phần 2 và phần 2 thì chúng tôi sẽ có cái sự đóng góp của cô Ngọc Trâm uh, cũng, cũng cũng cùng với chúng tôi sẽ đem lại uh, đem lại những cái uh, chuyển lại những cái điều mà bà đã nói để chúng ta không mất thời giờ nói chuyện. Um, I did not translate exactly what okay, you said. So okay. basically I just trying to paraphrase yeah, and, yeah. and try to summarize it. That's and sometimes okay. I even put in my own opinion yeah, and yeah, ideas if yeah. you don't mind. But yeah. but one thing you know for sure is that I love the city. Okay. Uh, well, uh, of Richmond, yes. Well, yeah. that's good. We're the county seat of Fort yes. Bend County. And yes. We have the old courthouse there. Yes, the courthouse. Which has been restored. Yes. Uh, it's really nice there. They've yes. done a plaza. Yes. And uh, so we're yeah, yeah. We're pleased to have the county there. Yeah. Richmond to me is a very sacred place. It yeah. has a lot of history. Yeah. And we had the honor to get married, my wife. Okay. And I get married and get our okay. uh, uh, marriage certificate All right. right. Uh, right at the courthouse. Right it's there, very courthouse. historical, yes. Well, that's yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. So, so it's I lot, didn't know that. Yes, it's a lot of meaning to me. Yeah. And, um, and you know that small business have a great contribution to the city. Yeah. And vice versa. A right. city has a lot of influence on small business. Right. Can you name a few influences uh, that, that, that a city has on business? Well, the first and most important one is the city provides safety and security. Yes. That's the most important right. one. Right. Uh, the city also provides infrastructure, uh, the roads, uh, the uh, water, yes. uh, such as that. And the city provides a nice environment so that your business can thrive. Right, right. And right. that is really important to have your business thrive. Yes, yes. So. So you make sure that you have the right environment, yes. so that you can you can attract people yes. to come to to live, to yes. work, to play, so yes. that they feel safe. They yes. feel like a sense of community. Yes, we are very lucky in Richmond. Many of the businesses want to come to Richmond. Yes, yes. Whereas they don't want to go to Houston. They don't want to go yes. to some of the other places. They are petitioning Richmond to let them in. So we're very lucky. Right, right, right. We're very lucky. You know, in a way, deep down, as much as I want growth in the city, yeah. but I still, I still like to see the, um, the preservation of yeah. that, the, of the history. You know, right. where else can you see the rust, uh, rustic right. uh, of a country? You see right. cows, you see horses, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see countryside. Yeah. But when you walk to the main street, and then you have all the conveniences and the luxuries yeah. of, of a big city. Yes. Well, we're an old city. Yes. We were founded in 1837 by oh the Republic yes. of yes. Texas, yes. not the state of Texas, yes. the Republic of Texas. And we were only three cities. Houston was the, got their uh, recognition on yes. the same day yes. we did ours. Yes. Uh, Jane Long is buried out there, the mother of Texas, and Mirabeau B. Lamar, yes. who founded our education system yes. in Texas. They're buried in our Morton Cemetery, which is a a really historic uh, place to go and visit. Right, right, right. I, you seem to have a lot of favorable factors of productions uh, to track business. You have a plenty, uh, plenty of, of, of land yeah. and you have human resources. Right. You, you have a very uh, good demographic there. Right. And you have the technologies. What, what kind of um, programs do you have? Any, uh, incentive or any kind of program that you can attract developers coming to the city? Well, we have Texas State Technical College. Yes. That uh, last year was their first year uh, to offer classes. This year they've expanded the classes. They are a technical training school and they will be training workers 
in certain skills for right, certain right, in industries. Right. A company will go to them and tell them what they need, and then they go out and uh, prepare the courses to yes, offer. Yes. Uh, we have a lot of younger people out there yes. that are taking these TSTC courses, right. which is be very good for our area. Yes, yes. So you get a good training. Do you have anything like a public-private partnership where, 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 where the two can come together and create uh, projects for the greater benefits? We have a number of public-private pri partnerships with the George Foundation, with the Henderson Wessendorf yes. Foundations. Uh, mostly those partnerships have benefited Richmond through them giving us land. Uh, they gave us land where we're building our new service water treatment plant. Yes. Uh, that will be up and active in another year. Right. Um, they have given us land for parks. Yes. Uh, that's how that partnership works. But we've gone to them for money when we needed money. Uh, and lot vice versa. Yes. If they need something from us, we go to them and, and help them out with it. Got you. You have a lot of land, that, that is for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. But a lot of those land, um, they are raw land. Yeah. That means it doesn't have any infrastructure. No. Uh, so, so do you have any incentive for those who come and build projects and they build the infrastructures? Do you have any reimbursement uh, plan? Uh, no, we don't. Those people who do something like that are in a mud district, a municipal utility uh, district. And they will set up a mud and we approve it and uh, they put in the infrastructure. There are certain areas where we have put in the infrastructure. Right. Out off of uh, FM 359, out in that area, we put the infrastructure in out there all the way. I got you. Uh, there are so many programs that people yeah. can come and visit. Uh, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that those who are interested, yeah. you, they can go into the website yeah. because I mean, I, I've got on there and I see a lot of programs on there. Right. But, but, uh, but the, my objective is, for our audience to get to know you personally, Mayor, yeah. because the, the, the place where we came from, you know, when we talk about government, this is a yeah. source of intimidation. Yeah. So when you think about government, you think, you think about a mayor or leaders, they yeah. think that they perceive them as threat. Yeah. But the fact that you come today and, and show your willingness, uh, it, that's a good thing. Well, I'm honored to be here. Uh, people don't understand that I'm just like everybody else. Everybody needs to take an interest in their local government. Yes. Uh, read their newspapers, follow it, um, voice their opinion, and to most important, vote. And every year we have an election in Richmond where only about 10% of the people vote. And that's a terrible thing. Right, right. It's a right. terrible thing. Yeah. You know, one thing that bothered me the most is that the government is acting as a dictator. You know, yeah. there's a, a lot of uh, business owners, investors, yeah. developers, yeah. you know, they take big risk. Mm -hmm. They invest money in land and projects, and by the time they go to the city, apply for permit, license, and then the, 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 the entry level of government employee did not treat, treat them with dignity the way that we see. So, so what is the mentality of service in your city, Mayor? Well, uh, we have a real good city manager. Yes. We have a commission manager form of government. Yes. The city manager runs everything. Yes. Uh, she, and you are like a board of directors. Uh, we're like a board of directors. Yes. There are five of us. Yes. Uh, myself and four commissioners. Uh, we run everything. We hire three people. We hire the city manager. We hire our municipal yes. judge and we hire our attorney. Yes. Those are the only three people we hire. Right. Our city manager hires the police chief, the fire chief, right. uh, the other people there, and she does a wonderful job. Right. Wonderful job. Right, right. Um, some, Sometimes I wish that the level of service that a government provides to the public uh -huh. is the same as the private. You know, I mean, yeah. they're aiming for customer, yeah. customer satisfaction, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you have anything, uh, any measure like that to gauge the, uh, the, the happiness of the people? I can't gauge the happiness of the people, okay. but, but I can't do that. But I can you try can to provide it. a good environment. We, yes. we try to provide a good environment in Richmond where people can uh, grow up and raise their families and work and yes. and then when yes. they want to yes. Yes. die, we'll bury them in Martin Cemetery. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 
thank you so much for coming, man. Thank I mean, you. I, we got one minute remaining. If there was one thing, you know, you, I have interviewed several men, but yeah. most of them were, all of them were, were no, male, and I you know. are the first female wow. man. So wow. if there was one word of inspiration for female who want to run for mayor or take leadership, what would be your advice? Well, I would say do it. There's nothing to keep you from doing it. You need to, uh, if you are desired to yeah. do it, do it. Yes, yeah. Thank you so much, man. Uh, quý vị you. vừa theo dõi chương trình diễn đàn kinh doanh uh, với uh, bà thị trưởng uh, đã nói về thành phố, về một chút xíu về uh, cá nhân của bà uh, và phần sau uh, chúng tôi sẽ chuyển tới những cái vị, những cái ý chính uh, mà chúng tôi vừa bàn qua. Um, is there anything else you want to tell the audience before we end the show, man? Oh, I can't think of anything else to say right now, but I've enjoyed it very much today. This Thank has you, been really man. nice. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good. Have a good evening.